So brethren, we must understand that Cornelius was a man that found favor in the sight of God. Not because of his pedigree. Not because he was a Gentile or a Roman. His pedigree did not mean anything. It was essentially the fact that he was doing good deeds. He was praying. He wanted something from God. He wanted to know how to reach God. And God brought that to him. So we must understand that the fact that a person is attending church regularly, frequently, does not necessarily mean that God is with that person. And a person may not even be willing to go to church. He may be fearful of going to church lest he be killed. And that is the person that God just might say, this fellow fears me. Let's go and teach him salvation and bring him to Christ. But the fellow who is in the presence of God and is doing all kinds of crazy things, he shows that he has no care for God. And God does not care for such a person either. So please, I want us to understand that religious activities don't bring salvation. Angelic visitation don't bring salvation. But those religious activities, if they are done from a heart that is intent on seeking God, he will find God. The Bible says if we seek God early, he will be found by us. Why? God is looking for people like that. So maybe you are one of those that God is looking for today. Get out of religion or religious rights and go to God in all honesty and say, Lord, I am a sinner. Have mercy on me. Come and save my soul. Don't be like the Pharisee. Don't be telling God that you give tithe, that you pray two times a day, that you do all those things, that you fast regularly. Don't tell God. It does, those things don't mean anything. The Bible tells us that all our works are like filthy rags before God. You want to pr present filthy rags to God and say you should be accepted? No! Go and tell God in all honesty, I am a sinner, I'm blind. I don't know anything. Please help me. And God will help you. And those of us who think that we know, remember, take heed, lest you fall.